Hi everyone, welcome to a new tutorial. This one's going to be on an audio converter called Free Audio Converter. This is available from this website right here. To get to it, just type F-R-E-A-C into your browser and it should bring you to this website right here. If not, you can just uh, you know, type it in from there. I'll also put the link in the video. So once you have that downloaded, just go ahead and install it. The cool thing with this, it does come in a lot of different uh, versions for operating systems. As you can see here, it's available for quite a few. So as long as you have any one of those uh, OSs, you shouldn't have a problem with the program. Uh, so go ahead, get that installed. Go ahead and launch the program. You're going to be greeted to this window right here. Now this one will not only audio convert files, you know, MP3s, MP4s, and things of that nature. It also does come built in with a fee, uh, ripper for CDs. And another added feature with this one, it, it does have the the database, the newer database, since the uh, CD database is no longer intact. They do have a new one. It does automatically connect you to that one. So, for example, I have a CD already in the drive. You can literally just click on here and it'll load up that CD. It'll take a couple seconds to, you know, get that loaded. And it should kick in with the uh, the actual name of the tracks on the CD. If it does not, there you did it, did it automatically. If it doesn't, you can always go here and either do the shortcut right here or just click on this and it'll query the database and it should bring up the, uh, the CD title tracks for you and it's super easy to convert and encode you can set your options right here these you can pretty much leave alone now this spot right here though you may need to configure depending on what type of file you want to encode it to as you can see all these files listed here are supported so you can go ahead and convert it to any one of these formats this can come in handy especially if you make music and uh you know you need to import it into a game or things of that nature or you have a certain kind of player you don't have your uh, you know CD player anymore you can convert this into you know the most popular formats and they're all right here especially mp3 so this one here I believe is a default one so you could just leave that there if you do want to make it mp3s you can click on okay now what I'm gonna do is just do one out of here to shorten the video so if you click on there it unselects all the tracks we'll just do one and you can see it automatically populates the information on here. It even tells you the track, year, the genre, the music, and all that stuff is listed on here. So you can go ahead and click on here, and you can go ahead and encode just the one that you picked. And as you can see, it does that fairly quickly my CD is not one of the fastest so we'll just go ahead and fast forward on here all right guys fast forward to the end and as you can see it did complete that for us so we can go ahead and, and click on that folder and it's going to show you the file we just made there we go I verified that it did uh, rip it and it does sound fine we'll go ahead and close that out now what I'm going to do is show you on here that you can also add items to this list so you know once you start this you're not restricted to doing everything off just the CD because you can add audio files also so I'm going to show you that from you're going to go back to file you're going to hit audio files and then we're going to go to the folder where the music was at so right here as you can see I've added this one in here so we're going to convert this uh, flag extension to an mp3 so you're going to highlight that one time you're going to click open and it's going to add it here to the bottom so as you can see there's the uh, the file right there so what we're going to do is highlight that one and just do that one on its own and we're going to go back to encode we're going to leave it at the mp3 start encoding and as you can see that it did that super fast so now you can verify that that's done by clicking on open and there's the original flag file and this is uh, the new mp3 so as you can see that's playing fine now one thing I'm gonna recommend for when you guys convert audio files there's always a misconception that uh, if a person takes an mp3 file and records it as a flag that it's gonna sound better 
and it will not because the the flag files if it, the source was done as flag from the beginning the bitrate is going to be much higher so when you convert it to an mp3 you can try and match that as much as you want you know by raising the the bit rates but cd audios are r 128 so, so you know don't waste your time in making a uh let's say if you were to have this as the source we'll get rid of this file so we'll pretend this is the file we had originally so if you try and convert that to a flag and try and you know you can make it a bigger file by raising the bit rate it is not going to sound better than the original because the original is just going to you know it's going to stream whatever it was recorded you know to begin with so a 233 you know bit rate is not going to sound better if you put it at 700 bit rate because it's only going to do the original so don't waste your time in making the file bigger because it's not going to add any more sound quality to it now of course if you do have a flag that's 700 kilobits and you record it to an mp3 the bit rates will be lower so it'll just be like a cd standard 128 kilobits kilobytes or bits is the standard for CD audio. So now that we have that, so you can see both of those work. I'm going to show you a couple of the options that you can set on here. So like I said, if you want to get the information off the database, once you have a CD inserted, if it doesn't do it automatically, go back in here and just click on here. General settings, these, like I said, this is where you're going to come and pick the encoder. So if you want to do a flag file, you'd go down here and look for that flag option on here, which is this one here. Now, once you do that, you can configure the encoder that you have by going on here. So these are the different settings for the encoder. Now, keep in mind, every encoder, encoder that you pick is going to have different settings as far as the bit rate quality and so forth so that's where you would go to change the encoders okay processing you can pretty much leave that alone and this is where you go to pick the actual that's another way to get to the uh, to the codex over here And right here, this database, this is where you can actually click on here. If you click on here, it's going to be automatic, and it should automatically pull the information for you off the, uh, the database for the CD. Both of these here. Another quick little uh, tidbit here. When you're doing this, like I said, you can keep adding to this. When you're doing it, if you're doing different sources, you may not want to like uh you know do stuff over so what i would recommend if you're doing a lot of stuff from one thing just go ahead and hit the select all again and then you can just remove i think it would be clear clear there you go see so that way if you're trying to do you know you don't want to do a lot in that window because you might either override something or ha have multiple copies of the files so that's the easy way to keep that you know uncluttered but again, like I said, you can go to the, you can keep adding things on here to your heart's content, and then you can rip them all into separate files. So hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and or subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one.